What does a Muslim woman do if she is getting her hair done and man walks in the salon? There are women-only salons in places with a high Muslim population for this very reason. In Muslim countries, communities there are hair salons that only serve women and men won't go in. At least not without asking. They'll have the doors and windows covered and a curtain in front of the door so they're still covered when it's open. This happened at my aunt's salon once. The lady panicked and ran to the bathroom until the men left. Since then, IIRC, they've allowed the Muslim women to get their hair done upstairs or in the old nail section in the salon. I've heard they go to women-only salons or call in advance to arrange a time slot just for them or a different room entirely with only female staff. It's only ever happened twice in any of my salons and both times. They just requested a private room. No problem at all. This happened at my women's only gym when some guys came in to fix some equipment. And the girls rushed to the locker room laughing. That gym could have done better though. A male cop once walked into the locker room. Led by gym management. Looking for somebody. Some other girl had the foresight to yell to us in the showers, man in the locker room. There's no problem if their hair is shared by accident. It comes down to intention of the woman. Muslim women are allowed to show their hair to non-related men when absolutely required. If they need life-saving treatment. I've even heard to confirm identity at times. Etc. I used to be a hairstylist when I was in my 20s and I can answer this question. We would bring Muslim women who requested it to the very back of our salon where we would do continuing education and training. We would have to bring a stool to the area and our cutting equipment. Because we really just used tripods with mannequin heads back there. So there were no salon chairs. It worked because it was past the restrooms and generally people wouldn't poke their heads back there. So there was very little risk of a man seeing them without their hijab. American here and longtime hairstylist I typically offer my clients who wear hijab the use of spa room or other contained space so that they are comfortable. That's their choice and it's literally my job to give them support and a safe space to enjoy getting their hair done. I didn't understand at first that because salons typically are glass fronted they can't sit at a regular station. Was fortunate enough to have a client who explained it to me so that I could better support other clients. I remember watching a video online from a hairstylist the salon she worked at booked a Muslim woman and all her female friends and family for the entire day and then locked the salon door and covered the windows so a man wouldn't see. This was in the US. Maybe Canada. If we can, we go to women-only parts. Where I am from places like this are already separated. When I lived in Dubai, the salon I went to was women-only. They also had private room or stalls with curtains for women that wore hijabs. My friend's mom owns a salon with a separate room for Muslim women to get their hair done because there's quite a few men who work in the salon. In the US I've seen them put up a barrier around the chair, like those changing room dividers. I live in a predominantly Muslim country and pretty much every salon, barber here is single sex. The women's salons either have the windows completely covered or there's a back area where they do. The actual haircuts that is not visible from the outside. It is simply understood that a man is not supposed to enter a women's salon. There are salons that allow Muslim women to book the whole place. The male employees take a day off and it's a ladies day. They lock the door and may cover with curtains. Heard this from a hairstylist I watch on YouTube slightly smiling face. From my understanding, it all comes down to intentions. 
If a random guy walked into a salon and saw a hijabi's hair, it was an accident. And accidents are fine. Depends on the woman though. Some will cover up. Others won't. Some will ask for the guy to leave. Muslim women have to dress modestly. And that includes covering their hair. And Muslim men have to lower their gaze. So the guy can easily lower his gaze and not look at the hijabi. It's not all on her. The salon my hairdresser daughter did her training in. UK. Had a separate room through the back that they would use for this. Where I lived in Germany there were women-only salons. And also were women's only hours at the pool. Little boys were welcome. I'm not Muslim but honestly it was lovely. Depends on the salon. Some will have a no-men day and block out the windows. Some will have a divider or a back room and so on. The Muslim ladies where I once worked, Opticians, UK, call on a home hairdressing service. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.